Okay, in a huge surprise, uh, the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics app has some privacy issues. <laughs> now, what's interesting here is that a lot of these issues would actually put it in violation of uh, policies by the um, Google Play Store and then whatever, oh, Apple's App Store. Um, mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because it's still available. And that, that seems a little bit sketchy. So together for a shared future is the, uh, the tagline here. What is this rotund bear? Um, it is a panda. He's a sea bear. Yeah. No, it, why is he in scuba gear? No, no, no. He's skiing. Sure. See? He has a little face. No, this one. Yeah, he's I'm looking. He's rotund and he's wearing scuba gear. No, no. That is a ski right. outfit. <laughs> he's sure. wearing skis. <laughs> he's on a mountain slope and the dude above him, which appears to be like an ornament, is where is riding a snowboard. He's not, this isn't the water. What are you talking about? <laughs> he has like a little mask on. All right. Yeah, for, for skiing. You've been skiing. His face is going to get cold. Okay, all right, all right. So anyway, like uh, argument about the bear aside, um, some of the things that this app requests from anybody who downloads it, and by the way, this is mandatory. So if you are going to the Olympics, if you're press, if you're an athlete, like what, whatever, you need to download this app. Um, so uh, device identifiers and model, like cellular service provider information. So like your information that could uniquely identify you via, I don't know, like a cell tower. Um, installed apps on the device. So like, what, what are you into? What kind of stuff you got downloaded, huh? Um, WLAN status. So that's interesting because this can be used to geolocate you at any moment. It basically means they don't need to request location access because with your WLAN status, if they can see which Wi-Fi network you're connected to, your IP address, and then also information about other wireless devices around you, they can geolocate you with exceedingly specific uh, ability. And that means that you know, it doesn't need to ask for GPS position provided it can persistently see wireless devices around you and query a database of where those things are. This is very common for you know both tracking applications and also assisted GPS to make it easier for a device that's in like a city or somewhere that's really crowded to quickly identify where you are by looking at nearby signals rather than trying to receive signals from space. So um, this is a particularly nasty thing for an app to request because it means it's basically able to track you all the time. Oh, yeah, and it can listen to audio information. So if you're talking, then it can listen to that too. That's great. Device storage access. What kind of files are you downloading? Maybe it could also access other logs or other devices uh, or other app uh, information that would allow them to know like what you're doing in these other applications. And then, well, why stop there? Location access anyway. So even though we can get location access basically with this one, we can also just straight up ask for the GPS coordinates if we want to as well. So um, it's not totally clear exactly who gets access to this information either, because under the terms of the app, like it could be intercepted or passed on. It's really kind of unclear where all this harvested data is going. And that alarms a lot of people uh, who are being forced to use this. Dang, so it I also like this bottom part here. Oh yeah, that it also collects passport <laughs> uh, information, daily health status, COVID-19 vac vaccination status, demographics data, and what organization they work for. Um, Oh yeah, and then for domestic users, names, national identification numbers, phone numbers, email addresses, profile pictures, employment information. Um, mm. Yeah, so the fact that this is not optional means that uh, it seems like maybe that's why it hasn't been pulled from the Google Play Store or like Apple's App Store, but it's pretty clear here that it harvests a lot of data and it probably wouldn't pass muster if it was just like some random app developer's app and it wasn't like an official app for the Olympics. So yeah, obviously not good. And the fact that it's mandatory makes it even worse. Yeah, I wonder what their purported like use is like, why would they have to have everyone install that? Oh, COVID-19 oh. and like organizing the Olympics and whatever, because since this is the official app for the Olympics, they're trying to make it so it's like a, a digital portal into the games. But the problem yeah. is it's also watching you the entire time.